Samsung's mid-range strategy is about to get a shake up and the Galaxy A57 5G is leading the charge. Reports now suggest the phone could launch as early as February 2026, a surprising shift from the usual Chu Wars Q2 schedule. Samsung clearly wants to get ahead in a crowded mid-range market where competitors like Xiaomi, OnePlus, and Realme are aggressively pushing Snapdragon and Dimensity chips. On paper, the Galaxy A57 looks capable. It's expected to feature a 6-inch FHD Super AMOLED display with a 120s refresh rate. That means vibrant colors, fluid scrolling, and solid brightness for outdoor use, a clear win for anyone who consumes media or games on their phone. Under the hood, Samsung is reportedly using the Exynos 1680 chipset paired with the Eclipse 550 GPU based on AMD graphics. Coupled with up to 12 GB of RAM and 256 GB of storage, the A57 should handle multitasking, gaming, and everyday apps with ease, though whether it matches Snapdragon or Dimensity performance remains to be seen. Battery performance also looks promising. The Galaxy A57 is rumored to pack a 5000 mAh battery with 4 5DW wired fast charging, faster than Samsung's current S26 series. That could mean full-day usage even for heavy users and a rapid top up when you're in a hurry. Add an IP67 rating for water and dust resistance and a slim 7 4 modern body, and you get a durable, stylish package that still feels premium. Camera upgrades are expected too. The A57 may feature a 50MP main camera with an ultrawide and telephoto or macro lens, giving mid-range buyers flexibility in photography. Samsung's image processing has always been a strong point, and this setup could make the A57 one of the most versatile cameras in its segment. One of the most intriguing leaks is the possibility of bringing Samsung's flagship privacy display technology to the A57. First introduced with the S26 series, this screen reduces side angle visibility by adjusting pixels dynamically, protecting sensitive information in public. If it arrives on a mid-range device, it could be a real differentiator, giving everyday users a feature previously reserved for premium phones. Software is expected to keep pace. Test builds of one UI 8. Five hint at smoother animations, faster app launches, improved system stability, and stronger privacy features. That means a polished, lag-free experience, not just flashy specs. But here's the catch. The Galaxy A57 will likely sit between 499 and 549, putting it in direct competition with Snapdragon and Dimensity alternatives. And while the Exynos 1680 is capable, it has historically lagged behind Snapdragon in sustained performance and efficiency, particularly in gaming and thermal management. For buyers focused on long-term performance, this could be a deciding factor. That said, the A57 is more than just a processor. Samsung is pushing displays, battery, charging speeds, camera versatility, and software polish into the mid-range segment. Combined, these features could make it one of the most compelling mid-range devices from Samsung in years if the Exynos 1680 delivers on its promise. The big question for buyers is simple. Will the Galaxy A57 5G finally reclaim the mid-range crown for Samsung, or will it fall short against Snapdragon-powered rivals? Personally, I think the phone has the potential to impress, but the processor will make or break the experience. What do you think? Are you excited about the Galaxy A57's features, or are you worried about performance? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you want the latest Samsung updates, leaks, and insider analysis, Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. You won't want to miss what Samsung is planning next.